Welcome back to The Dawn Show. We have some real inspiration here with Rebecca Marine, who's an inspirational model and spokesperson and just lovely all around Jersey girl. And we're joined also by her BFF since mm -hmm. third grade, Melissa Payne. Thanks for uh, joining the show here. Yeah. So how did you, you know, my son Michael is in the third grade and I think of him, you know, I hope that he's making lasting friendships and that sort of thing, but it didn't start so, so great w with the two of you, right? You didn't get along at first. No, you can tell. <laughs> she thought I stole her best friend. So at the time when I came in, we knew a girl named Claire and we clicked right away. So she was a little upset about that, but then very fastly we all became very good friends together so. so you all became friends so you know what did you when you started to get to know each other was the was the hand an issue at all I mean was it something that as little girls you ever talked about and just you know that you explained or that you talked about I never really talked about it at all it was never an issue I never spoke about it until quite recently Oh, that's start, interesting. Yeah, I never brought it up. I would never talk about it. I typically wouldn't even ask for help unless I desperately needed help, but I never, never really mentioned it. Only a few times as being young, sometimes I put her hair in a ponytail. That was when we were really young. That's it. Other than that, as we got older, more so when I introduced her to other people, they'd notice it. I'm like, oh, oh, sorry. I don't realize. Because you were so <laughs> little when you became friends that it was just part of who you mm -hmm. were and you yeah. didn't even really think about Not it. Not at all. Well, we have actually, um, Becca, we have your mom, Maria Marine, on the phone. Hi, Maria. Can you hear us? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not so much. She's not on the phone. Your mom maybe is calling in. We'll get her in a minute. <laughs> just say just say hello when you hear us, Maria. <laughs> um, so, but I wonder if you know for your mom if that was something that you know she worried about. And we'll ask her about that in a minute. Right. So, were there ever times you know when you started dating boys? Um, were yeah. there mean girls? I think of today we have mean girls. I mean, mm -hmm. did you ever deal with those issues? And did you ever have each other's back with regard to with regard to that? I don't really think we dealt with mean girls at all. I feel like we were in our own group. There was a, quite a few of us that hung out together when we were in school. We pan out as we got older, but other than that, we didn't really have issues. I think I had the luxury of being around a really good group of friends, and I think that's what really made me the person I am today, because they're just so good to me, and they never treated me any differently, and I feel really blessed to have had that group growing up, because I've had the same friends since you know, childhood. So it was really nice to have them. And they don't even think of me as like a handicapped person. They just think of me as Becca and crazy Becca. Well, <laughs> is that something, that right? because you, you know, talked about that, I mean, where people say the words like disabled, deformity, mm -hmm. I don't think those words apply to you. Do you right. feel like that? No, I mean, I mean, by no means am I, you know, disabled. I don't think of myself as a disabled person, but that's what people classify me as. You know, I'm handicapped and, that's the reality of it, but I don't feel like I am. I can do everything. I, mean, I can't do a double high five, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing I have a problem with. <laughs> well, I think we have your mom, Maria. Maria, can you hear us? Hi, Maria. I can. Hi, Becca. Oh, Mama. <laughs> Hi, Mama. <laughs> Love you, honey. Love you, too, Mom. <laughs> So, you know. Oh, you're going to make me cry. I know. I told you. you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we're just no, what's up? We're just talking about um, you know Becca and growing up, and she's saying how you know you you really have such a loving home, loving community, loving friends. But as a mom, were there days when you know you you drove her to school and said goodbye and worried Maria that oh she's going to get teased today or she's going to deal with something? And what were your worries? <laughs> It's funny, I just told Becca not too long ago, I can remember when she went to first grade and I had to um, speak to her teacher because I wanted to let them know not to treat her any differently than any of the other children. And I went in and I approached the teacher and I told her, listen, if Becca needs help with buttoning her jacket or zipping or tying her shoes, you know, don't do these things for her. Make her ask for, for help. And, the teacher's like, wait a minute, who are we talking about? I'm like, my daughter, Becca. And she's like, well, why is there a problem? And, um, well, she sits in the front seat. You haven't noticed? She says, notice what? And she's like, I told her that she didn't have a hand. And the teacher could not believe me. 
kind of how, like, when she was first born. I didn't believe it when the doctor told me. I'm like, what? She didn't even know. Just a little... But most people that meet Becca don't even realize it. It takes them weeks before they even know it because she's just, we've always trained her or brought her up to just be normal. Well, you know, I, I think of my mom, Rosemary, who always said, what makes us, uh, what makes us different is what makes us special. And I do think right. that your family, your parents, your community, the way that you're raised, um, makes you view yourself in a certain way and, and helps you have self-esteem. And I think what, what you're saying, Maria, and really what you're saying, um, Rebecca and Melissa, is that all of this, no matter who you are, no matter what makes you different, uh, some people might not realize it. We all have what makes us different. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's a great lesson here about upbringing, about parenting, about friendship that I think a lot of people can learn from. Yeah. Do you agree? Agree. Totally agree. If yeah. it wasn't for, you know, people like her that I can call and, yeah. you know, I don't think <laughs> I'd be who I am today. Aww. Aww, They're just so I good to me. You. Oh, did you hear that? Where's she said, I love you. I do. My baby, my bestie. <laughs> All right, stay right here. Maria, stay on the line. Uh, the Dawn Show is okay. going to continue with much more right after this. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Hi.